What's up, guys? It's Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar. That's right. I just finished up in my gym. I had an amazing workout today. Little funny thing. There's a, an actress that comes to my gym here in East Lake on. Her name is Fela Makafui, and she is married to a big rapper named Medical. Huh? I mean, y'all might know that. <laughs> and this morning when I was on my way to the gym, she was reversing out in her big Range Rover. That's it right there. And she almost hit me, so it was hilarious. So I've, I've been teasing her now in the gym about that. But anyway, today I want to talk about Ghana is good for my health. Yes. So obviously, I mean, people will say that I'm like the biggest cheerleader for Ghana and, you know, whatever. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just someone who keeps it real. I mean, Ghana has been good for me in multiple, multiple ways. And... I actually posted on our community tab the other day a farewell video that I shot um, as I was preparing to leave the UK and move to Ghana. And I was watching that video, you know, and just kind of reflecting. And I was like, oh my gosh, I noticed how fat I was, for instance. I was very fat back then. <laughs> and now I've got this, you know, sexy spelt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and... The irony is when I'm in the UK, I work out more, um, I'm walking more. I mean, I'm, I was averaging on my recent trip to the UK, I was doing about 20,000 steps a day. And, you know, despite all of that, um, I noticed that my weight was way heavier there than here. Now here in Ghana, you know, I mean, I need to do that to be honest with you guys. But I'm such a hardcore relaxer and chiller that sometimes I just can't make it to the gym. So right now I'm averaging maybe, maybe two to three times a week. Now in the UK, I go to the gym every day. Okay, people can definitely attest to that. Um, You know, whatever. And I think, I mean, I know for a fact, one of the biggest components of fitness is your food. When I'm here in Ghana, I do not hold back on eating. But because the foods are organic, they are not chemically modified or less chemically modified, less sugars, less sodiums, you know, and all of that, um, I get to enjoy better food, which has caused, you know, helped me lose weight because I'm not nearly as active here in Ghana as I am in the West. So I'm going to actually take you to the... A fresh fruit juice bar that I go to every day after my workouts. Huh? Yes. And shout outs to my girl Nelly. I mentioned Nelly. Nelly is my former gym mate. She stopped going to the gym, but y'all see, I'm still trucking along. And she actually sent me a box of these fruit juices for my birthday last year. So I usually get either the mango one, mango would probably be my top pick, or the banana one. It depends, because in Ghana, sometimes they be out of this and they be out of that. So we're actually going to see. I'll take it to the Fresh Fruit Juice Bar. It's just about a block away from my gym. So, yeah. I don't want to jump in front of this car. Here's one of our MTN mobile money stations. Huh? So literally the fruit juice bar is just a few minutes down the road. Now the pool, my previous pool that I attended is just here to the right, AKA Coca Vanilla. So yeah, and ANC Mall is lit. You know, this is right outside the ANC Mall. ANC Mall be on and popping every day, all day, all night. It goes from, you know, shops in the daytime to, uh, guys get to see all that trying to get around all right there we go so literally like I said the fruit bar it's not even a five minute walk from my gym so this is what I do every day I'm kind of feeling a little hungry sometimes I eat <laughs> Okay guys, so 
I ended up caving and I ended up getting a chicken trauma to go with my mango juice. So you see the whopping total is 60 CDs. So like I said, when I first came here now, I say the chicken trauma might have been 25, 30 CDs and then the juice was 10. So I used to go out with like a 50 CD and you know, whatever. But now I'm giving 100, I'm giving 40 back. Yeah, so these are CDs, guys, huh? You guys see, these are the the founding six of Ghana, huh? And that is obviously Kwame Nkrumah. You see his name right there, Kwame Nkrumah. Um, so you will actually see a memorial for these here in Ghana um, in kind of one of the roundabouts by the airport. There you go, Black Star Square, huh? You saw it in my music video, yes, yes. Yes, guys, buy the EP so I can get some more of these CDs, hello? Hello, Do your, does your money have black people on it? No, it doesn't. All right, so this, I'm not sure exactly what the structure is. It doesn't say, maybe that's the Bank of Ghana. I don't know. <laughs> so now I'm gonna wait for them to do my juice. There's another plane. Are y'all gonna see it? Where is it? Uh, nope, it went over top the building. We missed it, sorry. So anyway, they will prepare it and they will come and bring it to me because I'm a regular here. So they, you know, I get good, I get good service over here. So in addition to me losing weight, also the sun here in Ghana helps heal my skin. You guys know I battle with the condition and you know, these are the scars. It's really healed up nicely since I've returned as it always does. Um, these, you know, you can see them throughout my videos, these scars that I have and stuff, but when Ever I travel, they get irritated in the UK. So as you guys can see, my mango juice is here. I mean, you can see that it is fresh, huh? It's actually mangoes blended up. Oh, it's amazing. And my chicken trauma, yes. So guys, y'all know I be so hungry, so, you know. This concludes this vlog, huh? <laughs> because I wanna eat my food, yes. So when you come to Ghana, um, you can try Marwako's fresh juices. Highly, highly recommended. It's something I take every single day. And it's good. It's, you know, like, look at that. It's, it's so thick and tasty. Oh my gosh. Anyway, gotta go. Until we meet again, <laughs> stay black and true.